you ever thought about the ethical questions surrounding, as humans, we're making a decision, let's go in and let's fight, let's put ourselves in danger, and bringing a dog into that situation, are they aware of what they're being asked to do, do you right. think? I, they don't look at it as a job, they look at it as a game. That's, to him, he's getting paid with a toy, and he's always, he just wants to play the game. Right. So in his mind, his understanding is, I'm, I'm getting paid to play games and go find bombs. He doesn't think of it as a bomb. Right. Uh, and then you have to look at the fact that where one dog goes, four to five individuals would have to go in its place. Right, right. So I guess that's the level that we look yeah. at it. Yeah, you guys are very happy that you have these, these, the, these dogs helping you. It, it's a phenomenal you? experience. Yeah. Um, you said uh, that he's a house dog now. Is that true, Robbie? Oh, by all means, yes. He, Robbie's he, retired. He is fully retired. His, the, the, the most strenuous he thing looks that Robbie retired. has to do Look, during the day. He, he, yeah. he, he, he looks, he, he looks like he doesn't have, it's all good. Is he, uh, what, what's he do now? Is his, he, in the morning, uh, when it's cool outside, he tries to find the sun. And then in the afternoon, uh, he tries to find the shade. And that's about the extent of his daily, daily chores. So. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Does he by any chance have a condo in Florida? <laughs> If he, if he does, he hasn't invited me yet. Does he use, can he use any of his skills now? I mean, he learned all these amazing skills. Can you say like, Robbie, is, is this milk spoiled? You know, is there, yeah. is there ways in which his... He, he still has the capability of biting and, and attacking an individual, but... <laughs> yeah, but so do I, yeah. <laughs> Uh, now, who owns him now? I mean, is he your do he's, he's your dog? He oh, he's dog. your dog. Oh, he's 100% my dog. He lives at my house. He plays with my kids, and he enjoys. So he's not government property anymore. No, not anymore. That's no. great. And he... a majority of our dogs, that, that's our goal. That's at the happens. end of their working life, get them home. Let them enjoy the rest of their days as, as a house pet. Can he, uh, it's, it, yeah, it's fascinating to me. Well, I think we have a picture of Robbie at home, just hanging out. There yeah. he is. <laughs> I think that's him at a fish concert. I'm yeah. Sure. <laughs> just totally. Uh, now, you had mentioned, uh, I believe, or, that, that, yeah. that this is a program that might be eliminated or at yeah. least severely trimmed down. Not Why is that? eliminated. So, so what's happening is we wind down our troops in Afghanistan that we're sort of doing the same thing with our dog teams. It's, right. it's only natural. But um, the military has a really uh, bad history when it comes to our do dog programs so that, you know, I'm, I'm a little bit worried that we might scale back the capability right. so far that if we need them again, that we won't have them at the ready. You want the people who have the expertise to train these dogs, yeah. you, you wanna definitely... Because if you think about it, you know, their capability is of course useful in a combat zone, but it's, yeah. it's also useful here. And uh, you know, I think that these dogs could easily be sort of transitioned into you know, homeland security, and right. uh, they should right. be. Well, he's a beautiful, he's a beautiful dog. And uh, just this has been fascinating. It was really oh, cool good. having you all on the show. Thanks so much uh, for being here. Uh, Rebecca Frankel, <laughs> Staff Sergeant Curly Hardesty, and Robbie. And we'll take a break and we'll come back. Punch Brothers are here. <laughs>